Yo, what's up guys? Today we're watching the finale of Invincible Season 2. And if you guys want us to watch Season 3 when it comes out in approximately 5 years, get this video to 15,000 likes. And if you guys want to see our full commentary, head over to Patreon. We also have a bonus series reacting to Total Drama, Revenge of the Island, and Avatar The Last Airbender. And subscribe for no particular reason. You prick. No! That's crazy because they put it like they weren't gonna shoot him last time. You're like, oh, they didn't pull the trigger. Obviously, they're not gonna kill him. And then they did kill him. His mouth was too big. Well, can't they just bring back Jay Bigma? They brought back Bobby Hill. I feel like Jay Bigma is more important to the world than Bobby Hill, right? They shot like through like the side of his brain. Maybe it missed the important parts. Yeah, maybe it shot out all the horny out of Jay Bigma. He looks a lot like Plastic Man, like a super goofy DC hero. Eve out here just taking a power nap in the middle of her shift, bro. Someone get her a five hour energy stat. I'll do it. Stop it. I'm stronger and faster than you and you know it. Fail. He actually just daddied him there for a second. <laughs> like he said, I'm the alpha male. He's stronger than him, faster than him. Hell yes, we did it. Did you? Oh my god, they're fucked. They just headcrabbed Adam Eve, dude. Oh, they just put him to sleep. Oh. He used this John Lasseter ability. <laughs> oh my god. Agree to my demands and I will consider not destroying half of the nation. <sighs> Wait, he's still alive? Oh god. Oh, ew. That looks kind of bad though. The way the blood is like spurting out of his brain like a faucet is pretty crazy. <laughs> They're really trying to make Jay Big Mouth the MVP right now, bro. This is kind of goaded, though. It's goaded, but also I, it's hard to suspend my disbelief because he did just get shot in the head with a bullet. Are you all right? That's a weird question. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Yo, is he going to be like evil now or something? He has to be dead of blood loss at this point. Like it's spurting out constantly. You know? Invincible! Oh, they did the thing! I'm practically J Big Mouth. Jeez. Oh, the little person is still inside. Wait, so the little girl, the girl who shrinks is alive still too. The little person. I don't know if that's a little person. <laughs> They're so dating. They're so dating. Get your hands off of him. Mm. He is a taken man. Not for long, bro. Well, you know, they usually turn the redhead into the black girl when they make like new adaptations. Going from a black girl to a redhead, like, you know, it's kind of like an interesting transition. It weirdly fits, yeah. Mark's becoming anti-woke. <laughs> After everything Nolan put you through, no one expects you to raise this kid. Let us help. Oh, sweetie, I'm not your mother. That's a fucking bug. <laughs> your mom is a bug. Is he gonna go through like a metamorphosis phase? Is he just gonna like go through puberty and become like more mm -hmm. bug like? Or Ew, stop looking at me like that. Stop existing. Good job, Oliver. Oliver? Oliver? That's the name you decide to give him. He's already gonna be bullied for being purple. Now his name's Oliver too? Like, are you setting this kid up for death sentence? I feel like Oliver is an extremely normal name. They could have named him like AEX12 or whatever. Kate Chaw was a fearless warrior. And she had a fat ass. Jesus Christ. Because they were f***ing on the low. There's something ironic about a character that we've seen die twice given his words for someone else's funeral, you know? <laughs> You're right. He's like, her bitch ass is dead, but like, I don't really have to worry about that. That p***y almost killed me a couple times. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? I mean, uh... Am I right, man? <laughs> Why do I feel this way, Marcus? This is a little cheesy for me. Because you loved her? No, you fucking didn't love her. You were just fucking her. I forgot that they had a relationship. How's your mom? How's your mom? Sexy as hell, you know. She keeping up with her Pilates, Amba. Oh, Mark's studying for an exam, or he went home for the weekend. 
I hate lying to them, Mark. They're not even breaking up at the end of the season. They're breaking up at the end of this episode, bro. It's like, I can only talk to your gay friend. And I mean, like, Mark, he's gay. There's only so much I can talk about. Like, men, and that's it. Mark, look who's back. What the fuck? That's not good. He's a robot, too. Stop making robots of people. Or keep making robots of people. What if this becomes a developing plotline way later, where, like, slowly more and more people are coming back as robots, and then there's a robot uprising? That seems like where this is leading. This is kind of terrifying, dude. <laughs> I was such a dick to Kate. To Eve, too. And to you. And to every person in the show ever. <laughs> every interaction you've ever had. He lost a piece of his brain and gained empathy. He shot the misogynistic part of his brain. Oh, hey, Eve. You here to see Rex? Yeah. I try to stop in when I can. I feel like Eve used to be in the show a lot more. Like she got her special and everything, but I feel like season one, like she was like almost like a secondary character to Mark. And she's kind of barely been in season two. I've got a feeling she's going to be in it a lot more. You should know that Cecil sent me. Please come in. What? She just wants a little honesty. Like, there's no way you could not hire a government person to take care of your alien baby. Yeah, you kind of need that. You could probably gaslight someone like he has a rare skin condition. It's just a normal purple baby. Please don't take any photos of him or distribute any information about him and keep this job talk secret. You have to sign an NDA for the nanny job. You're the boss, not him. <laughs> Mama boss. Like a boss. You remember that meme, bro? When they say, like a boss. Mama eats spicy goodness like, like a, a boss. boss. Oh my, he's the epic baby. Yeah, I did the epic baby when you order 10 chicken nuggets and they give you 11, bro. <laughs> Girl trouble. That obvious, huh? It's all over your face, kid. We all need like a kind older man to talk about girl trouble. Like, look at this guy. He's just a viber. We all need a father figure. So what's the problem? The problem is, I'm invincible. That was so <laughs> weird. That was such a <laughs> weird transition. That was genuinely one of the worst things I've seen in the show. Why did they have to slide into it? Like, I feel like a cut would have been fine. <laughs> it's not that, it's that it makes me feel like a jerk. Stop <laughs> with the sliding. <laughs> this scene would be fine if they just cut. Why are they fucking PowerPoint animating this? I got his travel books from the library, but nothing popped out. No one wrote more than just travel books. He has the other books conveniently. This is beautiful. I told Nolan they were great, real exciting. Uh, I never read them. <laughs> the fact that Nolan just like writes books is really funny detail of his character. It's a weird character trait, right? Yeah, he doesn't seem like the type of guy. It wasn't a weapon to be used in haste. Is this a real character? He looks like Thanos. My assumption is that all of this is like non-fiction, but then he sold it as fiction. Yeah, I think that's probably it. But the planet had other plans. Oh my God, this is just like Lightyear. <laughs> oh, do not say that. So what? He's like hiding all of the Viltrumite's weaknesses in his books. Only man sets you. No. Chill the hell out. Chill the hell out, bro. I came here looking for you, and then suddenly this douchebag attacked me. You have those on Earth, right? Douchebags. What a we- why- why did he say that? Good line, good line. He should say, oh, it's on, like, Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have that on Earth, right? Mark wants to know if I attacked you or threatened you. I thought you were someone else. <laughs> 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 that was ridiculous. I, I just got back from space. Twice. I'm not going back just to talk to your boss. Can he send a text message? Y'all don't got email? Do you have email there? Like the douchebag line? You guys probably use WhatsApp. All right, got it. It was good seeing you again, Mark. By the way, I may have just given your roommate cancer by emitting that laser in this room. Oh my glove, dude. That would be fucking hilarious. How did a mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor? I do like how there's so many stories where Earth is just so awesome that it makes everybody switch up. It is just awesome, bro. That's just it. Ah, uh, it is good to be home. Wait, he's gonna destroy Japan now? Is that his plan? No. Not Jujutsu Kaisen. Maybe you should try asking whatever alien or mad scientist you're fighting for a photo next time. Dude, this is us at WeebCon, our favorite convention that we all went to. Wait, is this Anime Expo? Is this Comic Con? Look out, evil! 
We're... Oh my god, turn it off. Oh my god, turn it off. This is overly self-aware episode, is it? There is a really good self-aware joke in there I saw on Twitter. I want to make sure we're also doing stuff that you like, too. I'll let you know when I'm not having a good time. <laughs> that is so brutal, man. I'll let you know when I'm not having a good time. That is a harsh conversation. I can't imagine how much work it must be for those fight scenes. You ever notice that sometimes whoever's speaking has their mouth off camera so you never see their lips moving? <laughs> Motherfucker, they, they, why would they cover this? That's so stupid. They're pointing this out, but I feel like Invincible is like one of the worst offenders in this way. <laughs> So now everybody who doesn't normally notice this will notice this perpetually for the rest of the show. We'll catch up later. Thanks for holding on to that stuff for me. The black Naruto. Oh my God. Shout out Naruto. Oh my God. Green hair girl. Shout out green hair girl. Guys, are we going to make a bet if Amber and Mark break up in this episode? They are going to break up, right? Like we're 100% sure on that. No, 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 no. Jack's betting that they're not going to break up. I'm putting... $500,000 on the fact that they break up. <laughs> I'm betting $2 million though they won't break up in this episode. It's definitely so smart of me to do that. Great. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. See, if they were smart writers, they would try and use other words that weren't swear words. I refrain from swearing because I use my vocabulary to express how I feel. This is invincible if Vivzy Pop wrote it, bro. Mark, are you fucking kidding me, you invincible fuck? <laughs> that actually sounds funny though. Wait, is this an example of cutting quarters in animation like Invincible taught me about two minutes ago? They do this a lot. They seem to be cutting quarters most of the show. Did they just murder the squidbillies in cold blood? Good. Those squidbillies scared me as a kid, bro. I don't want them alive. They weren't very <laughs> funny either. The MILF hat did not hit in 2022. Well, it's because, like, we didn't grow up like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's a very specific type of humor. Yeah, I was a human. I wasn't a squid. What is the music? POV are getting beaten to death by like a K-pop group. So, um, those drones cost approximately. Ooh, no more trying again. I can't fight with that thing. Oh, is she becoming more like a toddler? Because the more she fights, she becomes like a toddler. So she's getting crankier and crankier. Uh, yeah, she needs her nap time. You wouldn't get any younger and could age normally. Let me fix you. Let me, fi Let me he fix you. Oh my God. Oh. I could have cost us that fight because I didn't trust Invincible. And then I almost started an interplanetary war. He's still pent up over the multiple women. Come back. Did you really think this was over? Oh, Ezra Miller. Dude, Ezra Miller's back. They brought him back, dude. If they recast him, is that Miller Lite? It is. And it's damn delicious, bro. It's just as good as the original. You rebuilt me. Lied to me took away my agency. This is when everyone just like quits the gut. You can't just quit the government. Someone has to run it, dude. Here, full authorization. Not like that password of mine you thought you knew. This is insane, bro. This is this is like visiting that one website as a kid and your morbid curiosity as you've seen uh, stuff that you may regret looking at, you know what He's I'm saying? died like several times. Is that the secret? Oh my God, Donald has died like 600. Oh my <laughs> God, he's died like a million times. That's awesome, dude. He's just got a folder with every death in it. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> kind of weird. That means like Cecil come back to this frequently. I'm still a terrible boyfriend. She just knows why now. I don't know if that's better or worse. It's better. I wonder what she knows about. Like, what do you know about that? Come on, man. You don't have any insight into this subject whatsoever. I cannot draw a parallel between your situations. Oh, he was so much fun back then. <laughs> he brought me a tree once instead of flowers. He thought it was the same thing, but better. He took me to see Bugs Life multiple times. I don't know why he was so mesmerized by that movie. He kept taking me to the ant bully and it was getting a little bit much. Do you ever wish you'd never met dad no because i wouldn't have you or oliver why do you care about oliver stop bringing oliver into this i can't empathize with a purple bug baby please sir can i have some less oliver in this show rick and morty kills himself live reaction no oh my god this is rick after people didn't like the incest baby episode bro no one's watching that shit anymore i know how you're feeling how could you Thank you.
Imagine showing off your tits and they expand into a camera. Like, that's so fucking cool. Like, imagine you're hooking up with, like, a chick or something and she takes off her clothes and she turns into, like, a fucking camera person from, like, Skibbity Toilet. <laughs> Oh, he smiled at the gay hug. Donald is not homophobic, everybody. Woohoo! I made a deal with Cecil to guarantee me two nights a week off going forward. Well, that's definitely not ethical. But maybe I'm cool with that. Hey, what? Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's low -key no, wait, that's a low-key awesome. Fuck those hoes, bro. Fuck those hoes. Bro, that's what the CEO of BP Oil had to do. Like something like he had to sacrifice like one of his days to dump the fucking oil to be with his wife, you know? So there's some problems even being a superhero doesn't solve. I should ask Cecil for a salary. Maybe I can get a part-time job. You're not on payroll? <laughs> How is he He's not on payroll? You basically do work for the government and then you're gonna get a job on top of that? Hello? You only get two days a week off to be with your girlfriend and you're already talking about getting a job during those days. Mark Grayson, invincible. Come with me now or this woman dies. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny, bro. This is legitimately a very sad moment. If you think you can cross the space between us before I tear this woman's head from her body, you're welcome to try. Don't worry, you can just bring back Amber as a robot. Just quick say, auto save right here. If I was in this situation, I'd be like, look, do you see this full plate of spaghetti, bro? Like, we just got our food. <laughs> <laughs> Let me finish. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Uh, uh. Oh my god, trauma. Dude, I would break up with Mark so fucking fast. I'd be like, get the fuck away from me, bro. But he's sexy, dude. There's a chip in danger. I need to go help. I will accompany you. They're going on a cruise. Let's go. It's like, it's like Hotel Transylvania. Transylvania 3. Mark, I know you think you should fight it, but there is a better way. There's a certain song. Hey, Margarita. Margarita. <laughs> Make her fart, man. Make her fart. Well, that's how she killed it. She went inside, farted in its brain, and then left. Be the Viltrumite you're supposed to be. Be your father's son. I'm sorry, Cora. I know this is going to trigger you, but she looks like a JoJo character. Actually, she does. Mark, you're so dumb, Mark. Your dad told you to think, and you didn't even think in this situation. Oh my god, dude. How many times does Mark gotta get his ass kicked in the most fucked up way possible? This guy, man. He takes like one W a season, dude. Yamcha. Oh my god, he just got yamcha bro. <laughs> Rest in peace, bro. Either you need me, or you don't. Make up your mind. Someone in chat, one word in their message. Harder. <laughs> <laughs> Harder, Anisia. This is someone's kink, to be honest. She's leaving the atmosphere, picking up speed and heading towards deep space. Well, thank fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> A delivery of that line was impeccable. How are they going to defeat this thing? Purple baby. Purple baby. They're going to blow up the purple baby like a nuclear bomb. Oh my God, dude, Cor, you're fucking right, actually. You disappear for months at a time. When I'm alone again, instead of being with my boyfriend. Oh my gosh, she looks like she aged like 10 years in this frame. <laughs> Why does she look like that? She's old now. Get her some finasteride. The drama made her old. She's like, look at me, Mark. I'm losing hair. I want to. I really tried, but I can't. Say, Say something. something. <laughs> what if they play, when I see you again? Hi, Mom. Hello, Mark. When are you coming home? Oh my god, fucking purple baby, bro. Thanos is coming for the purple baby now. No, that's Scrotum Head. That's not Thanos. Scrotum Head's gonna eat the purple baby and turn into Thanos. <laughs> Holy shit, Bob. I call them Bob. I call them Bob. <laughs> Bob is going I call them Bob. I call them Bob. <laughs> Foolish, you know. He's playing dead, you dumbass. You ever watch Monster vs. Aliens? This is what Blob does. I mean, Bob. Dude, he's like, time to get invited to the all-girls sleepover. Let me guess. You can open portals between dimensions. Invincible! You don't understand! 
This episode's called, I Thought You Were Stronger. Is this the Steven Universe episode? I've seen the manga panel for this one. This is when Mark kills someone. What? I feel like everyone has seen the panel. Clearly no. I don't, I don't read shit, bro. Oh, does he accidentally kill Scrotum Head? Is that what happens? And that's why it says, I thought you were stronger. <laughs> This is like a training arc or some shit, right? No, it's like he's breaking out of prison. This is the original author on Amazon fighting against all the AI cookbooks. Ooh, shit, dude. Dude, I feel like everybody's grandma has an AI book in their house right now. We should do a spell them a cookbook. Oh, God. You're that guy. I am Angstrom Levy, and you made me into a monster. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't remember his name either. I am Mr. Scrotum Head. My head looks like a scrotum. <laughs> oh my god, his fucking ass in that frame was insane. Dinosaur King, they put him in the past. Now the past is in the present, and time is twisted upside down. They literally just made Dinosaur King in 2024. No one's eating me. Oh, he gets, it speaks. This is like Charlie the Unicorn vibe. <laughs> These are like the three unicorns in Charlie the Unicorn right now. Don't worry. I have no intention of hurting your brother or your mother. Damn. I have no intention of hurting your brother who has a weirdly adult-like face that looks exactly like your face. That's so shit, man. And die. Oh my god! Put her on the fucking women's football team, bro. Like, she had that catch. Tom Brady ain't got shit, bro. Wait, Spider-Man? Oh, I think they were trying to do a collab with Spider-Man in this scene, but they couldn't get spi the rights to Spider-Man. It's, it's not a spectacular Spider-Man. It's like fairly adequate Spider-Man. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> like what we got going on here. Slightly above average Spider-Man. Wait, I think it is the voice actor for Spectacular Spider-Man. So, uh, trust me, I'm the good guy here. And Mr. Mechanical Arms is not. It does sound like him. It is him! No, it is not. No, 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 no. I could hear that snark from a mile away. This show just got good. They just had to introduce, introduce the best superhero show, Spectacular Spider-Man. Imagine he turns to the screen and confirms the existence of Spectacular Spider-Man Season 3. What if they just make legally distinct Spectacular Spider-Man Season 3? That would be awesome. <laughs> no. No. No, no, no. No, 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 Shut up, Cleveland. You actually thought you could hide from me? I'll kill the boy quickly. No! <laughs> I like Edgy Mark. He's so funny. Holy shit. The slow motion scream. I can only associate that with like comedic YouTube videos from the early 2000s. This is so tragic because he's experiencing all of these emotions at once because he has all of the consciousness in his giant scrotum head. Mark is like literally evil like 95% of the time. That's awesome. Why did we get the worst version of the show, bro? Now this is the, wait, Steven Yoon in The Walking Dead again? Walking Dead and Invincible are both Robert Kirkman, right? Yeah, it's Robert Kirkman, yeah. Steven Yoon is the Asian dude. He's Glenn, yeah. He's Glenn? In so many other dimensions, you join your husband and son when they slaughter millions and make the earth burn. He's doing the thing where it's like the partner's like, I had a dream you cheated on me. I'm mad at you now. Like, she's just a real estate agent, bro. Like, what does she do? But is she in commercial real estate? Okay, yeah, she might be the most evil of them all. Not the villain! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! This poor woman! That's fucked up! That was her duck throwing arm! How's she gonna win the duck off? You're a man who dresses like a bat. Yeah, I mean, like, don't you think that's kind of lazy? Oh <laughs> the <God>. Batman <laughs> reference. Don't you think that's a little lazy? There's a lot of winking nods in this show. This is over! Mark. Mom. Oh my god, her arm fell off. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he's gonna kill him, bro. And then he's gonna be like, I thought you would be stronger. Um, I thought you'd be a little bit stronger. How do I do it myself? Wait, that's the dune. Paul Atreides. That's the Nagaib. The white boy. He's the messiah. The white savior. But he's also evil, question mark? 
guy has a little bit too much blood. And that's how ketchup is made, at the Heinz Ketchup Factory. Wait, is he not just stuck in a random dimension now? He can find his way back. I thought you were stronger. Why'd they name the episode that? Why'd you laugh? I thought it was good. Because we've been saying the whole time that he's gonna beat him and then say that. Well, obviously that's what was gonna happen. I didn't think they were gonna actually do it. I thought it would just be implied. They shouldn't have named the episode that. I feel like it made it so obvious what was going to happen. He made me do it. It was an accident, but he made me do it. Him trying to rationalize like what he did is like, fuck. You know how people say like, what would Jesus do? It's like, what would Omni-Man say? He'd be like, suck it up, buttercup, if he was in the <laughs> scene right now. Seriously. I guess killing is just so bad for him. Like, obviously no superhero wants to kill because that's like the whole superhero thing. But like, the more he kills, the more he probably feels like he's becoming his dad. So it's like, there's, t there's two things at play here. <laughs> I feel like now that Mark has been like awoken, is he gonna like crash into this prison and capture his dad? And then they're gonna be best bros again or something? Like where is this going? He's like, stop beating off my dad. That's my job. You as a, you Jack or <laughs> Mark? Have you seen Omni-Man's ass bro? Yeah, that's my job. The plan worked. What? Remember me? Yes. <laughs> he was like, I am up so slowly. Wait, when did they meet? I forgot. Oh, because he used to be like the ambassador of Earth, so he would talk to him? Yeah, 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 because they would game and shit. Adam Eve. Why does the robot look older too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they like gave him wrinkles. Why he walks so slow? though you see how much his fucking waist and she's eyeing him up look at his fucking shake bro i love you mark i have for a very long time and when you disappeared i was devastated but you're old now that's i this is problematic tell her you love her but what if he doesn't it's like bro i just got out of a relationship i just killed someone did you really have to drop this on him right now yeah this is so insane but i guess she's like looking out for herself in another universe i guess i fuck with that i fuck with that oh mark dude they got matching black eyes that's so cute they're like little prune people together it's so beautiful prune people and they got a prune little boy they just slowly start turning purple it's not a black eye it's an infection immortal <gasps> i'm sorry i never told you wait what see i knew it i knew it you guessed this core like in the first season <laughs> Literally, what is happening? Who is this guy, bro? Who the fuck is this guy? He's like a Scooby-Doo villain. <laughs> he is. You're both female. And? I must inhabit a living male host. Yo! What? <laughs> what is happening? What the fuck? I want to do what you do. Your father will be executed. And you will return to Earth. Oh, man, dude. Let him escape his shitty dad, bro. Fuck his dad. We get it. This is the second time this recording. You keep talking about how you want to f*** Mark's dad, Jack. We get it, okay? I want the Omni d Good to be home. Right, Oliver? I am a purple baby. <laughs> Indeed, white woman. <laughs> you need to just start speaking full sentences. You're not going to be sleeping anytime soon, I see. Sorry. I got a lot on my mind. So did that guy you killed. Because <laughs> he had a large brain. College does a lot more than just prepare you for a job. Mark? I can't. Me after taking an intro to business concepts and they made me write in the coloring book for eight hours. I can't do it. I always get out of the lines. I always color out of the lines. <laughs> Is your mom okay? She's okay. She's a lot stronger than she looks. Stronger. Oh my God. I, th I thought she was stronger than that. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't. Her arm got broken. No way he moves on from Amber that quickly, bro. You know how you, it's your rebound after a relationship? He's got like the rebound from the relationship and also the rebound from the trauma of murdering someone in cold blood. <laughs> you turned against the Empire. Mark told me all about it. 
Wait, you saw Mark? Wait, all three of them have black eyes? No fucking way. All three of them have black eyes. The purple runs in the family, bro. I think... I miss my wife. Oh my god. You don't even deserve her, bro. You miss your pet, you fuck! There's no way he comes back. He's like, thanks for raising the child that I had by cheating on you. Can we, like, link up, though? This show's fucked up, man. Oh, maybe he misses the bug. Oh my god, he was talking about his bug wife the whole time. Aromer, Alex McLean, Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Andrew Husky, Arachnidroid, Aaron Tates, and Atomic Leon Bento, Blake Rivera, Kane Rivers, Tom Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub, Stargazer, Gunny Snile, Yernison, Happy and Egg, Helio, Histrionics, Ribbler, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Hydropon, Isaiah Alfred, K99, Kamui, King of the Street, Lilac Moon, Loka Pegged, Brett Han, Michael Rodriguez, Milan Zekanovic, Merc, Native, Omega Waffles, Oscar Anis, Pablo the God, Patrick Case Randolph, Pizza Loving Panda, R. Dizel, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rathoka, Quinn Christian, Zam, Skyler is Milk's Mama, Kieran Sills, Tyler Russell, Val Explicit, Victoria.